China's Corner is brought to you by Budweiser. Beachwood Aids for that clean, crisp taste. This Bud's for you. By Mitsubishi, bringing you a full line of award-winning automobiles. See them all at your Mitsubishi Motors dealer. And by NatWest Banks, raising the standards of banking. Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to Kiner's Corner. We'll have as our special guest, Daryl Strawberry, who had a big day today. In fact, he's had a big week. He's really got it going now. And we'll return to look at some videotape of Daryl and also talk to him right after this message from Budweiser. Daryl, when you're out on the West Coast, I read in the paper where you said that uh, your attitude after going through the rehab was sort of laid back and you were just waiting for the time that your competitive nature would take over. And it looks like it's taken over. Yeah, it, it's starting to come back. Um, you know, after going through the rehabilitation um, for alcohol, I think I was more, more of a calmer person than I was before. I was very intense and I had lost a little bit of that because of what I was going through and the changes that I was making at that particular time. But, you know, as long as the season progressed, I think I get more aggressive. I start running the bases more. I start playing better defense, and I start swinging the bat a little bit better. Well, you've been running the bases very well so far this year, and, of course, uh, the defense has really been much, much better. You've been diving for balls and everything else. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, coming into this year, I just want to really... Um, play my heart out for the ball club and play hard every day that I go out there and just be thankful that I'm healthy and I have an opportunity to be out there and do some things to help us win ball games. Let's take a look at some of Daryl Strawberry's heroics out here this week. On Friday in the bottom of the fifth inning, this is Daryl at the plate. Bob Walk is the pitcher. Well, the thing about it is I'm starting to stay on the ball um, a little bit longer than I was before. I was pulling off a lot of pitches, over swinging, and I was letting pitchers beat me with the fastball. And There's a tough pitch right there to hit off Rick Reed. Yeah, and that, that situation there, that that right there shows, you know, when I'm starting to really lock myself in, when I start hitting a high fastball. Um, like I said earlier before, I was getting caught up in between of following a lot of fastballs off, and now I'm starting to hit the ball the other way and back up the middle, and that's a big plus for me. That helps the ball club when I'm doing that. Mark Heisman, the pitcher right there, and then the big home run in today's game, a three-run job. Just stand on the ball and not pulling off, going with the pitch. And, you know, those are the little things that I need to continue to do to be successful. And if I continue to do that, um, I have a chance to do some great things for the club. Well, you certainly helped the Mets in this series because the Mets had a must-win situation, at least three out of four from the Pittsburgh Pirates, and you really helped them along to do that. Well, the thing about it, Ralph, is going through this, you, you know, being here in New York and going through so many pennant races, that we've been through so many years here. Uh, I think I have enough experience under my belt where I won't pressure myself. I'll just let it happen and eventually things will turn around. If you go out there with the kind of attitude and, and the confidence in yourself and saying, I'm going to do it. And that's what has happened to me. I have uh, reversed the kind of attitude I had earlier where I was really laid back. Now I'm taking a little bit more charge, being a little bit bit more vocal with the ball club and speaking out about what we have to do because it's important um, at this point to play better baseball than we played in the past. Well, you can always let that bat speak for you, and you've been doing that. That's the best way to answer anything. Yes, and that, you know that's the key, working hard. And, you know, I continue to work hard in batting practice, of uh, taking batting practice as like as in the game, preparing myself for the game. And that's something I learned from Keith Fernandez. You know, he taught me that where when you prepare yourself in batting practice to start driving the ball, to left center and left field, you start seeing yourself hitting the ball in the line once the game starts. You were quite vocal about Davy Johnson leaving and, of course, Buddy Harrelson taking over. Uh, Buddy, has he done anything different that uh, has surprised you? Is it about the way you figured? Well, I think um, a lot of people miss, um, you know, misunderstand the things I say about Davy. It's because I played for Davy for so long. I played for Davy uh, through the minor league system with the Mets, and after playing with him for six or seven years here, you know, he's been a great manager for this organization, and you have to respect that um, no matter what me and Davey went through. But he was always there from in, in my corner, and he always pulled for me, and I appreciate that, and I just want to, you know, give my appreciation back to Davey. Buddy, Buddy Harrelson, he's great. You know, he's he's loose. He, he keeps us going, and he's got me where he wants me to keep the guys together, um, whatever it is. If we all together out there running, stretching, 
You know, he told me today, get the guys out early about 115. Guys, get, get them all out there, get them running, stretching, so we can get prepared for the game. And Buddy's into the game, and I like that. And he, he's letting the ball club play. He's letting guys do what they're capable of doing, and that's helping the ball club. And it's a good attitude around the clubhouse. You're all, you always have been sort of a loner. You kind of run around by yourself. You don't pal around or hang out with a bunch of guys. Is that still part of your lifestyle? Yeah, it's kind of laid back. I, you know, the guys on the team are, are great. You know, they've been my friends for a long time, and we've been through a lot together here. And I just kind of like to, you know, to find a lot of peace to myself now at this point. And, you know, the most important thing for me to do is, is, is feel relax and be very happy. Find that inner, inner happiness inside your own self where you can enjoy what you're doing and not putting so much pressure on yourself to go out there and try to do it. Well, this ought to make you happy. Let's take a look at this videotape replay. It's Andy Van Slyke at the plate. That's a yeah. very good play there. Oh, well, that's what I said. You know, that's the thing about, you know, working hard and, and, and getting into those good work habits of, of motivating yourself to play great defense. And, you know, I've been criticized a lot, and I want to change that. <laughs> I, want to, I want to show everybody that, you know, I have all-around game playing defense, too, and, I'm, you know, I'm concentrating very hard to play good defense for us. And also on the bases, doing a great job with the stolen bases. Daryl, thank you very much for coming on. We're on our way to Chicago, a big series there, and then Pittsburgh again. Looking forward to it. Daryl Strawberry, we'll return in just a moment right after this message from NatWest Banks. <laughs> 